welcome to the floor of my bathroom because because this is where we live today. As the shirt says today, we, we are doing side quests. Hi guys, a uh, long time no see and uh, welcome to my bathroom floor. Um, I have not sewn in solid a very, very long time. So instead what I've done is I have acquired a lot of plants and um, I'm going to repot one of these plants with you and answer some of your asks on Instagram because this this is who I am now. Um, so to get this done, I have this cute plant mat and I have the plant in question who is my lovely little philodendron silver sword. Look at her, she's so pretty. Um, and I gave her this little DNA trellis because, because that's my brand. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get started. Um, so I guess I have been MIA for a really long time and it's not for like anything like bad. It's just that, you know, motivation is pretty terrible in the old panini times. And I also have a lot of work. And so, you know, oh, well, she just came right out. That was great. Look, look at her little group. So pretty. But so, um, basically, uh, things have been good, but they were a little difficult. Um, some of you may know that I broke my elbow back in December, and that was a whole thing. But uh, here we are now. I had uh, radio head replacement surgery. Here's my uh, gnarly little scar. And we are, you know, we are just keeping on. And, you know, in the ever wise words of Dory from Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. And basically I haven't sewn for a really long time because I haven't had conventions to go to. And then when I did have a convention to go to, I was like, what if, what if no new outfit and just wear old outfit? It was honestly revolutionary. Um, 11 out of 10 recommend. You should do that more often. So just, Throw in some soil in and nope, need some more. It's a little too low. But yeah, okay, so I'm gonna, I put a um, Ask Me Anything out on Twitter. So I'm, wow, Twitter, no. I put an Ask Me Anything out on Instagram and I'm just gonna answer some of those asks. So first ask I got was, what is your favorite tea? And um, obviously it's chai, but if I have to pick another um there are a few blends from david's tea that i really like the one that i've been drinking the most loyally is like a midsummer's night fruit blend which is really nice and i love that um next we have what is one thing you wish you knew when you started on your sewing slash maker journey um, I guess that would be that you're never gonna be the best at something right when you start. And that seems obvious, but as somebody who has problems with either make it perfect or don't make it at all syndrome, I believe that they call that perfectionism. But, you know, because of that, it's like really easy to get discouraged when you start a new hobby and you just see everybody else like being amazing and then it's just you and you're just being new at something so you know you're learning but because of that you're not like a pro and that can be really disheartening because you keep trying to like compare yourself to somebody who's already got those years of experience and you know there, there's some sort of saying that's like I can't remember it exactly, but it basically boils down to like comparison basically draws the joy out of everything. And that's true with making as well. And it's so easy to look at professional makers online, especially in this day and age and, you know, be like, oh, I'm not good enough. And the thing is though, that they have like 10 years, even two years of experience on you, you know? And once you get that as well, you will be on that level. And it's okay to not be perfect when you start because nobody's perfect when they start anything. 
that's a that's a huge thing and I mean it's a little bit stereotypical but you know it's a good answer and so I kind of stick with it um also hello it has dirt on hands I, I realized I realized in this plant journey that so many people are like oh my god I I need like dirt scoops and stuff and I'm like nah dig my fingers in the dirt let's go it's me dirt I just I find a lot of joy in just touching dirt. I feel like it's like the touching grass satisfaction, but a little more goblin-y in its, in its forms. All right, this is looking pretty good. That went a lot faster than I was expecting it to. It's okay, I'm gonna keep answering questions. Um, what is your favorite material to work with when doing crafting slash cosplay? Um, all right, if it has to be a fabric, it's gonna be silk because I am, I'm, I'm a fancy lady. I love, I love Dupioni, even though it frays like crazy. I just love how it feels. And then I also really love raw silk. I just, I love the texture and like the schlubs on it. I know, I know that it's not like, historically accurate for a lot of like fabrics and that like in you know Marie Antoinette ye old Marie Antoinette times they thought it was like imperfections but like frankly I'm still gonna use it because I love it and you know do what spikes joy um all right uh how are you? Oh, that's so sweet. I am good. Yeah. Um, I still, you know, elbow has sort of devolved into a kind of chronic pain issue. So like I get like a lot of wrist soreness and elbow soreness, but it's fine. Make and do. It's all good. Um, I should probably lift some more weights. Um, I'll get my like, wrist strength back faster that way and that will be good. Okay. I think this is enough dirt actually. So I'm gonna add some of my fertilizer and also wipe the dirt off the edges so yeah check this out she's she's looking happy all right so we're gonna close up the dirt bin move it to the side oh there is no space over there don't mind me I'm going to pull out my fertilizer bin it's really heavy it's a full bag Shouldn't try to lift that one-handed, but I always do anyway because I am so bad at things. And this is about four and a half inches, four inches. So we're gonna do about like three quarters of a teaspoon. Well, I grabbed the one teaspoon, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, there's a half teaspoon up there and that's the one I was aiming for but I think it was either too far forward or too far back either way I missed it um e for effort uh the last question I have for today is what is your favorite frog and um this is a very good question because all frogs are good and I love frogs but there is I want to say it's like a kind of the bullfrog because I like how their bellies go all big and they're like Grrr. That was supposed to be a croaking noise. Um, not super sure what it ended up being. Just cursed. Uh, right, on that note, I have, I finished the plant, I've done the fertilizer, I have to water it, but to do that, I have to stand up. So um, that's gonna be a later problem. I also should probably clean this up, but that is also a later problem. See, this is why I do this in the bathroom, because then, then, here's the secret. I can just leave it here. I shouldn't. I'm going to clean it today. I promise. It's still, it's 1030 in the morning, so I will be cleaning this later. So that is my promise to you. If you guys comment on this and you're like, hey, Nami, have you cleaned the bathroom? And I'm like, no, you're allowed to be mad at me. This is, this is me holding myself accountable. All right. Well, on that note, this is my philodendron silver sword. Um, I believed I named him Kakashi because because silver and Kakashi get it. Oh, I forgot to put this back in. If I just stab it in here, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Ta-da. Where's the little clippy? Here's the little clippy. Gotta make sure to clip your friend onto the pole. Okay, seems good.
All right, there we go. This is Kakashi's final form. Oh, I love him. I'm so happy. I've been, I should have done this a while ago. I had to like water this like every like two days because this, this was just too small and it's okay. We've done it now. <laughs>